Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling How the Alphabet Was Made The week after Taffy My Metalumai, we will still call her Taffy, best beloved, made that little mistake about her daddy's spear and the stranger man and the picture letter and all, she went carp fishing again with her daddy. Her mummy wanted her to stay at home and help hang up hides to dry on the big drying poles outside their Neolithic cave. But Taffy slipped away down to her daddy quite early, and they fished. Presently she began to giggle, and her daddy said, Don't be silly, child. But wasn't it inciting? said Taffy. Don't you remember how the head chief puffed out his cheeks, and how funny the nice stranger man looked with the mud in his hair? Well, I do, said Tegumai. I had to pay two deer skins, soft ones with fringes, to the stranger man for the things we did to him. We didn't do anything, said Taffy. It was Mummy and the other near the lake ladies, and the mud. We won't talk about that, said her daddy. Let's have lunch. Taffy took a marrowbone and sat mousy quiet for ten whole minutes, while her daddy scratched on pieces of birch bark with a shark's tooth. Then she said, Daddy, I've thinked of a secret surprise. You make a noise, any sort of noise. Ah, said Tegumai. Will that do to begin with? Yes, said Taffy. You look just like a carp fish with its mouth open. Say it again, please. Ah, 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 said her daddy. Don't be rude, my daughter. I'm not meaning rude, really and truly, said Taffy. It's part of my secret surprise thing. Do say ah, daddy, and keep your mouth open at the end, and lend me that tooth. I'm going to draw a carp fish's mouth wide open. What for? said her daddy. Don't you see? said Taffy, scratching away on the bark. That will be our little secret surprise. When I draw a carp fish with his mouth open, in the smoke at the back of our cave, if Mummy doesn't mind, it will remind you of that ah noise. Then we can play that it was me jumped out of the dark and surprised you with that noise, same as I did in the beaver swamp last winter. Really? said her daddy, in the voice that grown-ups use when they truly are attending. Go on, Taffy. Oh, bother, she said. I can't draw all of a carp fish, but I can draw something that means a carp fish's mouth. Don't you know how they stand on their heads rooting in the mud? Well, here's a pretend carp-fish. We can play that the rest of him is drawn. Here's just his mouth, and that means ah. And she drew this. One. That's not bad, said Togumai, and scratched on his own piece of bark for himself. But you've forgotten the feeler that hangs across his mouth. But I can't draw, Daddy. You needn't draw anything of him except just the opening of his mouth and the feeler across. Then we'll know he's a carp-fish, because the perches and trouts haven't got feelers. Look here, Taffy. And he drew this. Two. Now I'll copy it, said Taffy. Will you understand this when you see it? Perfectly, said her daddy. And she drew this. Three. And I'll be quite as surprised when I see it anywhere, as if you'd jumped out from behind a tree and said, Ah! Now make another noise, said Taffy, very proud. Ya, yeah, said her daddy, very loud. Hm, said Taffy, that's a mixty noise. The end part is ah, carpfish mouth. But what can we do about the front part? Ya, 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 and ah, ya. Yeah. It's very like the carpfish mouth noise. Let's draw another bit of the carpfish and join them, said her daddy. He was quite incited too. No, if they're joined, I'll forget. Draw it separate, Daddy. Draw his tail. If he's standing on his head, the tail will come first. Besides, I think I can draw tails easiest, said Taffy. A good notion, said Tegumai. Here's a carpfish tail for the year noise. And he drew this. Four. I'll try now, said Taffy. Remember, I can't draw like you, Daddy. Will it do if I just draw the split part of the tail and the sticky down line for where it joins? And she drew this. Five. Her daddy nodded. His eyes were shiny bright with excitement. That's beautiful, she said. Now make another noise, daddy. Oh, said daddy very loud. That's quite easy, said Taffy. You make your mouth all round like an egg or a stone. 
so an egg or a stone will do for that you can't always find eggs or stones we'll have to scratch around something like this one and he drew this six my gracious said taffy what a lot of noise pictures we've made carp mouth carp tail and egg now make another noise daddy Shh, said her daddy and frowned to himself but taffy was too incited to notice that's quite easy she said scratching on the bark eh hey, what said her daddy i meant i was thinking and i didn't want to be disturbed it's a noise just the same it's the noise a snake makes daddy when it's thinking and doesn't want to be disturbed let's make the shh noise a snake will this do and she drew this seven there she said that's another spry's secret when you draw a hissy snake by the door of your little back cave where you mend the spears i'll know you're thinking hard and i'll come in most mousy quiet and if you draw it on a tree by the river when you're fishing i'll know you want me to walk most most mousy quiet so as not to shake the banks perfectly true said tegomai and there's more to this game than you think taffy dear i've a notion that your daddy's daughter has hit upon the finest thing that there ever was since the tribe of tegumai took to using shark's teeth instead of flints for their spearheads i believe we've found out the big secret of the world why said taffy and her eyes shone too with incitement i'll show said her daddy what's water in the tegumai language yah of course and it means river too like wagai ya the Wagai River. What is bad water that gives you fever if you drink it? Black water, swamp water. Yo, of course. Now look, said her daddy, suppose you saw this scratched by the side of a pool in the beaver swamp, and he drew this. Eight. Carp tail and round egg. Two noises mixed. Yo, bad water, said Taffy. Of course I wouldn't drink that water, because I'd know you said it was bad but i needn't be near the water at all i might be miles away hunting still it will be just the same as if you stood there and said go away taffy or you'll get fever all that and a carp-fish tail and a round egg oh daddy we must tell mummy quick and taffy danced all round him not yet said tegumai not till we've gone a little further let's see yo is bad water and so is food cooked on the fire isn't it and he drew this nine yes snake and egg said taffy so that means dinner's ready if you saw that scratched on a tree you'd know it was time to come to the cave so'd i my winky said tegumai that's true too but wait a minute i see a difficulty so means come and have dinner but show means the drying poles where we hang our hides horrid old drying poles said taffy i hate helping to hang heavy hot hairy hides on them if you drew the snake and egg and i thought it meant dinner and i came in from the wood and found that it meant i was to help mummy hang the two hides on the drying poles what would i do you'd be cross so'd mummy we must make a new picture for show we must draw a spotty snake that hisses shh shh and we'll play that the plain snake only hisses Sssss. i couldn't be sure how to put in the spots said taffy and perhaps if I'm in a hurry, you might just leave them out. I'd think it was so when it was show. And then Mummy would catch me just the same. No, I think we'd better draw a picture of the horrid high drying poles their very selves, and make quite sure. I'll put them in just after the hissy snake. Look. And she drew this. Ten. Perhaps it's safest. It's like our drying poles, anyhow, said her daddy, laughing. Now I'll make a new noise with the snake and the drying poles sound in it. I'll say, she That's Tegumai for spear, Taffy. And he laughed. Don't make fun of me, said Taffy, as she thought of her picture letter and the mud and the stranger man's hair. You draw it, Daddy. We won't have beavers or hills this time, eh? said her Daddy. I'll just draw a straight line for my spear. And he drew this. Eleven. Even Mummy couldn't mistake that for me being killed. Please don't, Daddy. It makes me uncomfy. Do some more noises. We're getting on beautifully. Er, uh, hm, said Tegomai, looking up. We'll say shoo. That means sky. Taffy drew the snake and the drying pole, then she stopped. We must make a new picture for that end sound, mustn't we? 
shoo shoo oo 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 said her daddy why it's just like the round egg sound made thin then suppose we draw a thin round egg and pretend it's a frog that hasn't eaten anything for years mm, no said her daddy if we drew that in a hurry we might mistake it for the round egg itself shoo 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 i'll tell you what we'll do we'll open a little hole in the end of the round egg to show how the o oh noise runs out all thin ooh 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 like this and he drew this twelve oh that's lovely much better than a thin frog go on said taffy using her shark's tooth her daddy went on drawing and his hand shook with incitement he went on till he'd drawn this thirteen don't look up taffy he said try if you can make out what that means in the tegomai language if you can we found the secret snake pole broken egg carp tail and carp mouth said taffy shoo ya sky water rain just then a drop fell on her hand for the day had clouded over why daddy it's raining was that what you meant to tell me of course said her daddy and i told you without saying a word didn't i well i think i would have known it in a minute but that raindrop made me quite sure i'll always remember now shoo ya means rain or it's going to rain why daddy she got up and danced round him s'pose you went out before i was awake and drawed shoo ya in the smoke on the wall i'd know it was going to rain and i'd take my beaver skin hood wouldn't mummy be surprised tigumai got up and danced daddies didn't mind doing those things in those days more than that more than that he said suppose i wanted to tell you it wasn't going to rain much and you must come down to the river what will we draw say the words in tegumai talk first shu ya las ya maru sky water ending river come to what a lot of new sounds i don't see how we can draw them but i do but i do said tegumai just a ten a minute taffy and we won't do any more to-day we've got shu ya all right haven't we but this lass is a teaser la 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 and he waved his shark's tooth there's the hissy snake at the end and the carp mouth before the snake ass 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 we only want la la said taffy i know it but we have to make la la we're the first people in all the world who've tried to do it taffy my well said taffy yawning for she was rather tired las means breaking or finishing as well as ending doesn't it so it does said tigomai tolas means there's no water in the tank for me to cook with just when i'm going hunting too and shilas means that your spear is broken if only i'd thought of that instead of drawing silly beaver pictures for the stranger la 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 said tigomai waving his stick and frowning oh bother i could have drawn she quite easily taffy went on then i'd have drawn your spear all broken this way and she drew fourteen the very thing said tigomai that's la all over it isn't like any of the other marks either and he drew this fifteen now for ya oh we've done that before now for maru mum 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 shuts one's mouth up doesn't it we'll draw a shut mouth like this and he drew sixteen then the carp mouth open that makes ma 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 but what's this rrr, rrr thing taffy sounds all rough and edgy like your shark tooth saw when you're cutting out a plank for the canoe said taffy you mean all sharp at the edges like this said tegumai and he drew seventeen exactly said taffy but we don't want all those teeth only put two i'll only put in one said tegumai if this game of ours is going to be what i think it will the easier we make our sound pictures the better for everybody and he drew eighteen now we've got it said tigumai standing on one leg i'll draw em all in a string like fish hadn't we better put a little bit of stick or something between each word so as they won't rub up against each other and jostle same as if they were carps oh i'll leave a space for that said her daddy and very incitedly he drew them all without stopping in a big new bit of birch bark 
19. Shu ya las ya maru, said Taffy, reading it out sound by sound. That's enough for today, said Tegumai. Besides, you're getting tired, Taffy. Never mind, dear. We'll finish it all tomorrow. And then we'll be remembered for years and years after the biggest trees you can see are all chopped up for firewood. So they went home, and that evening Tegumai sat on one side of the fire, and Taffy on the other, drawing yars and yos and shoes and shees in the smoke on the wall, and giggling together till her mummy said, Really, Tegumai, you're worse than my Taffy. Please don't mind, said Taffy. It's only our secret surprise, mummy dear, and we'll tell you all about it the very minute it's done. But please don't ask me what it is now, or else I'd have to tell. So her mummy most carefully didn't and brightened early next morning Tegumai went down to the river to think about new sound pictures and when Taffy got up she saw Ya Lass water is ending or running out chalked on the side of the big stone water tank outside the cave um said Taffy these picture sounds are rather a bother daddy's just as good as come here himself and told me to get more water for mummy to cook with she went to the spring at the back of the house, and filled the tank from a bark bucket, and then she ran down to the river and pulled her daddy's left ear, the one that belonged to her to pull when she was good. Now come along, and we'll draw all the leftover sound pictures, said her daddy, and they had a most inciting day of it, and a beautiful lunch in the middle, and two games of romps. When they came to tea, Taffy said that her name and her daddy's and her mummy's all began with that sound and they should draw a sort of family group of themselves holding hands. That was all very well to draw once or twice, but when it came to drawing it six or seven times, Taffy and Tegumai drew it scratchier and scratchier, till at last the T sound was only a thin long Tegumai with his arms out to hold Taffy and Teshumai. You can see from these three pictures partly how it happened. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Many of the other pictures were much too beautiful to begin with, especially before lunch, but as they were drawn over and over again on birch bark they became plainer and easier, till at last even Tegumai said he could find no fault with them. They turned the hissy snake the other way round for the Z sound, to show it was hissing backwards in a soft and gentle way, twenty-three, and they just made a twiddle for E, because it came into the pictures so often, twenty-four, and they drew pictures of the sacred beaver of the Tegumais for the B sound, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and because it was a nasty, nosy noise, they just drew noses for the N sound, till they were tired, twenty-nine, and they drew a picture of a big lake pike's mouth for the greedy ga sound, thirty, and they drew the pike's mouth again with a spear behind it for the scratchy, hurty ka sound. 31. And they drew pictures of a little bit of the winding Wagai River for the nice windy, windy wah sound. 32, 33. And so on and so forth and so following, till they had done and drawn all the sound pictures that they wanted. And there was the alphabet all complete. And after thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and after hieroglyphics and demotics and nilotics and cryptics and kufics and runics and dorics and ionics and all sorts of other ricks and tricks because the wounds the neguses and the arcoons and the repositories of tradition would never leave a good thing alone when they saw it the fine old easy understandable alphabet a b c d e and the rest of them got back into its proper shape again for all the best beloveds to learn when they're old enough but I remember Tegumai Bopsulai and Tafimai Metalumai and Teshumai Tewindro, her dear mummy, and all the days gone by. And it was so, just so, a little time ago, on the banks of the big Wagai. Of all the tribe of Tegumai who cut that figure, none remain. On Meru Down the cuckoos cry, the silence and the sun remain. But as the faithful years return, and hearts unwounded sing again, comes Taffy dancing through the fern to lead the Surrey spring again. Her brows are bound with bracken fronds, and golden elf locks fly above, her eyes are bright as diamonds, 
and bluer than the skies above in moccasins and deerskin cloak unfearing free and fair she flits and lights a little damp wood smoke to show her daddy where she flits for far or oh very far behind so far she cannot call to him comes tegumai alone to find the daughter that was all to him end of how the alphabet was made